Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope really well. I'm doing a video request from my brother Mike. Uh, he wanted to see my truck and have a better look at it. So, let's get to it. Okay, so the pickup is a Mazda B4000 V6. It was... So the story goes with this is I wanted to have some fire, I wanted to have a firewood for my condo because basically it's nice having a fire and it's pretty much just free heat. So I wanted a truck just for that. So I got the 4x4 model and I was putting, I mentioned on Facebook I was looking for a truck and I just, I wasn't finding anything I liked. Either they had, they, you know, I mean, I was being a little bit picky, but, you know, I mean, why sit out for just a piece of crap? So, my, uh, my good friend just messaged me one day, and he says, dude, are you still looking for a truck? And I said, yes. And he said, well, I'm going to have this thing hauled off to the dump. If you want it, you can have it. And I said, serious? And he said, yeah. So he gave it to me for nothing. It just needed a clutch. So I took it to the shop and I, or actually I didn't take it to the shop, I, I threw out a feeler on Facebook and I said, anyone know a good mechanic, I'd be more than willing to pay you to do a clutch job for me on this truck. And a guy introduced, one of my Facebook friends introduced me to another gentleman who said, yeah, just bring it down and I'll, I'll take care of it for you. So he did the whole clutch work for me, 600 bucks, which I thought was a steal. So. Okay, so I'm using a stick here to hold up the lid. And I know you can get replacement, um, what are they called? Shocks? No, not shocks. They're the uh, replacement that, hold, that basically hold this up, the hydraulics. Wow, totally brain fart. So both sides are missing them. So this one has a here but this side doesn't now I haven't really gotten around to getting these replaced also the door handles so the uh, locks on here are gone this side doesn't even have one but uh I got the handle the handle missing here and it has a handle here but then there's no there's no trigger for it so I just use a stick Works pretty easy. I mean, I can just go out of wood and shot one. Yeah, it's working for now. So, okay, so I haven't got a ton back here. I have a folding leg table I got for Christmas. Thanks, Mom. I have some uh, firewood toting around. You may have seen this in my uh, that one video I made I'll link below I have a fork for the fireplace you know just hammer it in the ground a stick to prop up a pot like the snow pea kettle I just kind of threw him back here I really put a lot back here so and then a chair shoved in the back but I don't use it so Unfortunately, it has a broken window because the uh, previous owner, I guess they were hauling something around and it rolled and it hit the window and broke. So I'm either going to replace the canopy at some point or um, get the window fixed. So, I, it did, so with the window, the locks, and the hydraulics to hold up the, camp, the, 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 uh, the door, the lid, um, wow, I can't think, I can't speak today. Ugh. So, those items might be more expensive 
for the three, the window and the hydraulics and the other thing, than the um, than just getting either a replacement canopy or just been looking. I've been looking on Craigslist here and there, see if I can get like a replacement. So we'll just see how that goes. I mean, it's not imperative. I get one right away. I mean, yeah. So All right, like I said, it's um, it's a four by four. It was a push button. Um, Four wheel drive, but the one of the owners, I think the owner before the previous owner, had actually uh, switched it to locking hubs. There's still a push button inside the dash, which I don't mind at all. It's a uh, five speed. The uh, interior is a little rough. It's got some, uh, you know, seats get a little bit messed up. Behind the seat, I keep my two totes. One has um, just some gloves, some uh, first aid kit, which I've seen in my vehicle EDC, which I'll link below. Uh, jumper cables, trash bag, trash, trash bags for picking up after people. So. Passenger side, just got my YouTube accessories. Like I said, five speed uh, push button four wheel drive right here, which you can't see. My Discovery Pass which allows me to park at state parks. And then this side, I have just a few things. I have a second pair of gloves, which I didn't realize I had. Again, this is all in my vehicle EDC, water, canteen, you know, a few items. I took the canteen out and I forgot to put it back in, so I need to do that. Open up, dang you. That's that. Thought we're getting the carpet replaced, but that will be a project down the road. I don't have really have any solid plans right now. Oh, has these uh, really nice fins for the back window, so when it's hot out, I can air out the truck. So that's pretty nice to have. Let's let some fresh air in. That's the inside. So here's the engine, nothing too special, just, it's got a lot of mileage on it, 271,000. Runs really good though, fires up every time, haven't had any, no knocks, no misses, no skips. Everything looks real good on it. I, I can't remember, I'll have to ask when the last tune up was, I don't seem to remember. So, had the old change, so that's good to go. I'm not really a, much of a mechanic, so I don't I don't really do all my own, I don't do my own work. I just take it to a shop or have someone do it for me. So, well, there you have it. There's my my vehicle. I primarily use it for just hauling stuff around, and then I take it to the woods a lot. So I'm not adding my extra mileage onto my Jeep. I have a Jeep Cherokee Sport. So. I like it. Been a good vehicle.
even after getting stuck, it was still a good vehicle. Of course, that was my fault, but yeah, it runs great. No real major body issues other than the canopy, but I'm either going to get a new canopy, like I said, or get this one fixed. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that just yet. There's a place not far from me that does, um, they have new and used canopies and they also do repairs. So I can swing by there, see what they say. If it's just a lot of money, I'm just going to get a new, I mean, I might be able, it might be cheaper just to replace the canopy than get this fixed, but. You know, I'll worry about that as time goes on. It's not like it, it's pressing. I don't really need it now. So, you know, I got it for mostly hauling firewood, but figured it'd be a waste not to drive it out to the mountains. So, all right.